always, 100% of the time, put yourself and your health before your company or resume worry. One question I keep seeing all over the place now is, is it okay for me to leave a job after a week or one month or two months? And how will that reflect on my resume? This video will do three things for you. It'll help you take an informed and better decision. It will help you feel better about your decision. And in the end, it'll walk you through how to resign your job after a short period of time. There are so many valid reasons for wanting to leave a job just after joining. After all, the hiring process is guesswork, both from the company's side and from your side. Reasons could be that the job does not match the job description, or the company might have a toxic culture, or you don't feel supported enough in your new role. There are three things you need to stop and consider before you hand in your resignation. Number one, maybe you're just overwhelmed. Can you shift gears and push through the next few months? Do you think it will be better with time when you're more comfortable with the role? Number two, can you raise the concern with your hiring manager if you don't feel supported enough or the job does not match the job description? An honest conversation with your hiring manager might fix the situation. The third thing you want to consider is how fast can you find a new job? Ideally, you want to have a new job lined up before you resign. If you just can't stay another day and need to leave now, do you have enough money saved up to sustain you while you look for a new job. The hesitation to leave is usually based on these three worries. Number one, feeling bad for the company you're leaving. Number two, you worry how it will look on your resume. Number three, you're worrying about finding a new job. Let's dive a little bit deeper into all of these and talk about different ways of looking at things. It's very common and totally normal to feel bad about leaving a job after such a short period of time. It's crucial though, that you redirect that energy to focus what's best for you. If you look at it in reverse, do you think the company would feel bad if they had to let you go? And know that you're not hurting any person. It's a legal entity. And while it might be a process for the company, they will find a replacement for you soon enough. And the same way the company takes a chance when hiring you, you take a chance when accepting that offer. Even though you get some exposure to the company before getting hired through the interview process and whatnot, you're still never getting the full picture. A few years back, I hired someone for a director role. He fit the role on paper, he had the right personality, and as I always do, I exposed him to as many people from the company as I could before hiring him. An extensive hiring process helps both parties know what they're getting. A few weeks later, he started and went through the first week of onboarding. When I got home that Friday though, there was a mail waiting for me in my inbox. It was from the new employee saying he felt the role was too complex for him and he didn't feel he could do a good job. And for me in that situation, even though the hiring process was lengthy and costly, I really appreciated that he was honest and let me know straight away. I'd rather know as soon as possible and get on with hiring the right person for the job. Another very common worry is how leaving so quickly will reflect on your resume. So let's back up again for a second. Always think about yourself first. How your resume will look should never ever be a concern if you're not happy at work. You can also always talk to why if you need to in future interviews. You should always tailor your resume to the role you're applying for anyways. The important thing is that you learn from this experience. Why did this happen and how can you avoid it in the future? That's how you avoid the constant job hopping that will not reflect well on your resume. When you have decided to leave, you start applying for jobs straight away. Use your connections, talk to friends, post on relevant groups on LinkedIn. Put all your spare time into finding something new, something that is perfect for you and where you wanna go. I'll post the link below to a video I made on how to make your resume stand out. The way you resign should be the same whether you've been with the company for one week or 15 years. The first thing you always, always do is to have the conversation with your manager. If you're worried about this conversation, just practice it at home in front of the mirror. You don't have to say why you're leaving, but you might want to, especially if you leave after a short period of time. Be as constructive as possible with any feedback and let them know how they can avoid the same hiring mistake in the future. Always make sure to thank 
thank them for their time. When you've had the conversation, you send a letter of resignation to your manager. Keep it as short as you possibly can. You just have to say that you resign, what day it is today, and what your last day will be. Make sure you're discreet about the resignation. Only you and your manager needs to know the details. It is as simple as that. And you really don't need to feel bad about your decision. If you're not happy at work, this is the best decision for both you and the company. So when you have decided to leave, you're wasting valuable time, just leave as soon as you can. So to summarize everything, starting a new job is guesswork for both you and the company. If it's not a good match, the sooner you leave, the better. Before you hand in your resignation, make sure you consider if it could get better. Also make sure that it's financially viable for you to leave if you don't have another job like that. And know that it's normal to feel bad or be worried. Just let go of those feelings though, always. 100% of the time, put yourself and your health before your company or resume worries. If or when you resign early, do it like you would any other job. Talk to your manager, be appreciative, kind and constructive. Then you just send in your resignation letter and it's all done. I really hope this video helped you put some of that worry behind you. I also hope you end up taking the decision that's best for you and your health. Hope to see you again in a week. Thank you very much for watching.